today we're going to be talking about matter. What is matter? Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. For example, fruit, softballs, tools, animals, rain, flowers, and even air. And the mass is how much of something you have. Energy is the ability to do work or cause change. Change can mean motion or moving matter from one place to another, so for example a nail being hammered into something, or change in form, which an example of that would be water boiling or water freezing. The study of the properties of matter and how matter changes is called chemistry. Matter has a variety of characteristics or properties that can differ. They fall into two different groups used to identify, describe, and classify matter, physical and chemical. A single kind of matter has distinct physical and chemical properties is called a substance. Physical properties. A physical property can be observed without changing the substance into something else. So some of these examples would be odor, taste, hardness, texture, color, temperature at which solid melts or liquid boils, or whether it's solid, liquid, or gas. Some chemical properties. A chemical property is observed when a substance interacts with another substance. So examples of these would be burning or flammability, rusting, tarnishing, or whether an object will explode. Kinds of matter. An element is a substance that cannot be broken down into any other substances by chemical or physical means. All elements can be identified by its specific physical and chemical properties. For example, aluminum foil, copper coatings on pennies, oxygen, and nitrogen gas. All of the kinds of elements are found on the periodic table, which looks like this, along with their symbols. There are two types of changes that matter goes through physical, and chemical. A physical change is a change that alters the form of a, or appearance of a material but does not make the material into another substance. For example, chopping wood, bending a copper wire, and molten clay. All of these things are changing the appearance of something but not changing the substance. Matter has three principal states, solid, liquid, and gas. A change in a state is an example of a physical change. A chemical change or reaction is a change in matter that produces new substances with properties different from the original substance. Elements may combine to form a compound or compounds may be broken down into elements. Some examples are the souring of milk and the burning of wood. So these things are changing both chemically and physically. Energy is always involved when a chemical or physical change to matter occurs. Now, one project that you can do as students is make ice cream. Ice cream is going to show the children different type of change, and they're actually going to get to do it themselves. So, ice cream science. You can start with using this worksheet, and it explains a little bit about the ice cream. Go ahead and read it. Not just any frozen treat can be called ice cream. The United States Department of Agriculture sets standards for what can be a called ice cream. According to the USDA, ice cream must contain at least 10% milk fat, a minimum of 6% non-felt milk solids, and a gallon must weigh at least 4.5 pounds. Sherbet, low-fat ice cream, and frozen yogurt are delicious frozen treats but are not considered to be ice cream desserts. Ice cream is an easy make and incorporates many science principles. You will learn ice cream science and make delicious ice cream in this activity. So go ahead and get started. You would gather the materials you would need, a thermometer, a gallon freezing ba freezer bag, a quart freezer bag, a spoon, gloves or a towel, whole milk, sugar, vanilla extract, ice, and salt. So in the quart size bag, you're going to pour the a half a cup of whole milk, three tablespoons of sugar, and one to two tablespoons teaspoons of vanilla extract depending on how strong each student wants it. And then you're going to go ahead and place three to four cups of ice in the gallon sized freezer bag, the bigger one, and measure the temperature of the ice with the thermometer. Go ahead and record the temperature in different temperature scales. And as you can see it's got Celsius, Fahrenheit, and it 
goes ahead and explains how they are converted so the students can see all three. Then you're going to go ahead and remove the thermometer and bury the quart bag and its ingredients in the ice. You're going to add a half to three-fourths of a cup of sodium chloride to the ice and carefully seal it. The formula for sodium chloride is NaCl. Sodium chloride is commonly known as table salt. All this can be explained to your students beforehand or while you're doing it or a little bit of both. Students are going to go ahead and shake the bag for 10 minutes or until the contents of the quart bag have solidified into ice cream. Students will be able to see the change happening and they'll be able to tell when the ice cream is ready to be eaten. The gloves and the towel are going to be used to protect your hands because it's going to be really cold. And be careful not to break the bags while you're doing this. After that, the students are going to go ahead and measure the temperature of the ice and salt mixture and record the temperature in the different temperature scales. Again, they can go back and refer to that conversion chart. What happened to the temperature of the ice after the salt was added and it received a 10 minute shaking treatment? The answer to this should be that the temperature dropped. You can discuss this with your students or have them answer individually. It goes on to explain some more, um, and then it's got some more questions and different things that you can talk to your students about. And then you can go ahead and have them fill out a lab report on this as well. And that's going to be it.